Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. Today I've got a really low flow, even though it's opened all the way. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. It's just going to be changing the cartridge, but also peeking behind, making sure there's nothing else clogged in there, but it's probably just a rock or something. Clot in the cartridge, the cold side works just fine. Uh, hot side water pressure is good everywhere else, and I just had a major plumbing leak the other day, so it's possible some soil or uh, stuff got in the line and went down the line and just was caught in the cartridge, so I'm going to change that out. Okay, got my cartridges ready, and I'm just going to prep this first so that uh, when I turn off the water, I don't have to have the water off quite so long. Just notice this has got the wrong index button on it too. Someone put a cold index button on the hot side. And they put the directional arrow on the hot side, or on the cold side, and the hot side where the directional arrow goes. So I'll put the directional arrow facing down, I'll put the cold side back on the cold indicator, and we'll save the hot for this side. So, yeah, what are you gonna do? Not everyone pays attention to the work that they're doing, and uh, well, it's job security, right? Okay, now, it might be a good idea to plug the drain to keep from losing the screw. Okay, got my hand on the screw in there. Spin off the escutcheon. Take off the extension. And I like to pre-loosen my cartridge a little bit once I get it off, just to kind of verify that everything's going to fit up before I run and turn the water off. And don't loosen it too much so water starts coming out of there or anything, but you know, just, just enough to make sure that the socket's not going to slip or anything funky. So there we go. And I'll go turn off the water and get it done. You know, if the water is going to affect somebody else, it may be a good idea to knock on the door. But another kind of trick is if, if it's shared, you can kind of listen to the plumbing to hear if it's running. And then you can know, you know, maybe somebody's in the shower or whatever, because uh, you can kind of hear it running uh, if that's the case. But I don't hear anything running. This is going to be a very fast job, so I'll probably just get it done. But again, not a bad idea to knock and let people know. That way, you no know, surprises, no one gets that instant cold shower or anything when you shut off the hot water, so. Okay, so I went ahead and let them know downstairs that uh, the water's going to be off. It's just a little better to catch anybody. Also, if they're running in a washing machine or anything like that. It's good. good idea to verify that the water actually turns off because you never know with the uh, shut off. You know, better to not get any surprises. Anyway, here we go. I've got a three-quarter inch deep socket here. Works really good for getting in there. You can do it with a not a deep socket, but sometimes you got to kind of take the head off of your socket and just barely insert it. And uh, sometimes you know insert it over. Just much easier with a deep socket. To make a long story shorter or longer. <laughs> here it goes. Sometimes you can stick a piece of paper or something in here to guide any water out. This one didn't have too much. Good idea to peek inside and uh, use your finger to make sure there's no contaminants or pieces of o-ring stuck in there. Old piece. Yeah, everything looks good there. You can use a flashlight if you've got one handy. And then we'll start it off by finger and make sure it's not cross-threaded. And then insert our new one. Now when you insert your new one, you want to make sure that the O-ring is on the back if, if it has one. Not all these cartridges come with an O-ring. I actually like the Freedom cartridges that come with the O-ring. You just have a lot better experience, lasting time and survival time and everything. The main flaw with these is a lot of people don't understand the system and they try to kinch it down because they're used to a compression style uh, deal where um, you know, it's a squeeze, squeeze effect. Before I put it back together, go ahead and turn the water back on and I'll verify we have no leaks. So good to go. And it can open the water for now, and that way it, it pushes any air out. Not that there be a lot of air, but just preventing water hammer from going down the line. 
as the air bubble travels through it can at any turns or bends that air can really smack inside the plumbing so just uh, opening it first helps prevent that a little bit okay i left the faucet open as well just to prove everything was good and uh what we didn't do is like peek at our old cartridge uh, here goes taking a look let me just verify we have no leaks or anything here first we have just a little leftover moisture from where it first was changed out so we're good there everything seals off nicely so we can put that back together we just kind of verify no more drips everything turns off and right here we can peek at our old cartridge and see what happened very hard to turn for one and what we can do is push this apart and I'll show you but there it is off and on and then this we can push out the inner portion <laughs> There's the inside, it's got some O-rings, see it passes through, but it looks like maybe we have a rock down here in the spring, and also a couple little rocks fell out when it went flying. Let's peek down in there. Let's see. Let's see if we have anything in here. Yeah, it sure seems like it. There's a little spring inside here in between these O-rings that presses out. Let's pull it out. There's the spring. And yeah, so we definitely have a little rock in here that was blocking. See it there? There's the other O-ring. And then there's the piece that was blocking right here big old rock so we got three of them got caught in there yep good to go now no more no more dripping no more funky blockage anyway put the deal back on give that a little tiny eighth turn pass tight quarter turn a quarter turn is just a quarter no more I've seen people go another two times around and full turn around thinking that's a quarter turn. No, quarter turn past night is just quarter turn. Yeah. Okay, these escutcheons, I like to position the worst looking portion down as it's the least visible. And yeah, a good idea at this point to clean it up while it's in that, while it's off there, you can kind of shine it, shoe shine it. And, uh, set our screw and our index button and now everything is indexed properly i like to set these nice and straight up and down got that one a little crooked so i'll reset it now there's a little care about the job a little tlc just makes it better the index buttons are now correct hot the directional arrow you can rotate up for a shower down for the tab and a cold button. Cold button's a little crooked, so I'll fix that now as well. Make it nice and straight. Yeah, we're good to go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for maintenance. And I could have just removed the rock, but you know, the cartridge is three dollars, three fifty maybe, you know, five dollars, depending where you get it, you know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Come through maintenance over and out. Yeah, now it's just a little cleanup, a little TLC. Make sure everything's nice and tight. And cleaned up. We're good to go. Thanks for watching. Now to fix that drip. Walking through this world, I can feel the pressure.